and hello YouTube, this is JS Man with Smart here today on a brand new video for tutorials with JS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft Excel and how to create some very quick charts if you have some data. If you want to create some charts for your own purposes to sort of visualize what's going on. One of the popular cases is when you get your bank statements, you might want to have an Excel sheet where it tells you how much income you make, how much expenses you have for the month, your ending balance, if you have any pending debts. You might want to have a chart showing you how you're doing over the course of uh, several months. So you can very easily just report this from your statements into these cells here, but it doesn't have to be this. It could be anything. Uh, down here, I have another example of GPAs. If you want to see how you're doing with your GPA in school for uh, the different semesters, you can see how your GPA is increased or decreased. There are several different types of data you can easily represent with a chart in Excel with just with a couple of clicks. So once you have your data here, once you have it filled out like this or in any, in any way you want to do it, all you got to do is highlight what you want to make a table of. Go ahead and hold down the Alt key, hold down your FN key and your F1 key. If you're on a more traditional keyboard, then just press the Alt and the F1 key. And as you can see, it makes an automatic chart. If you want to have a chart in a new window, in a new sheet, go ahead and press the F11 key or the FN plus the F11 key. And as you can see on a whole new sheet, we have the actual chart. Now, if I go ahead and delete this and we're going to go ahead and do it one more time here, you can see that the data here, you can see that the data here is represented very well by this chart. Our gray line is our ending balance. Our income is the blue, our expenses is the red, and our pending debt is the yellow. Now you can put a chart title here if you want. If you wanna change any of these things very easily, you can, for example, wanna change the colors, just click anywhere on the chart here, go to the design up here, and you can change how the chart looks. You can even change some of the colors here, some preset colors that they have. And if you don't like this preset color, you can very easily just click on a color here Say I don't want my pending depth to be brown. I can click on it, I can right click, and I can click, uh, where is it? Format series, and you can format this series, and lots of other options here. But if you go to fill here, and you select a color, say you want it to be uh, purple, for example, as you can see, it turns to purple. And a lot of different options here you can play around with. You can add a border if you want, you can fill a different color. You can work with them. You can work with some shapes here, and you can work with the series here. So lots of cool options here you can play around with with your table, with your chart. If you want to change certain things, if you ever want to add another piece of data, uh, say for example we now have July here, and say July. Uh, so July, let's just say our income was six thousand, even though it probably wouldn't be. Our expenses are three thousand and that'll give us a 3,000 uh, ending balance, so that'll be 16,808. And say our pending debt was at 100 only, say we paid off 500 that month. If you wanted to add this to your chart, as you can see, your chart is only showing, uh, it's only incorporating these months. So all you gotta do is go down here, drag this down, and as you can see, it adds on the next month. So it's very easy to add data, delete data. If you wanna, for example, take a month off, you can very easily just bring that. Say, for example, you, your debt is paid off. You don't want to see your debt anymore. Very easily, just bring it like that. Bring it to the side. And as you can see, the chart changes. Very similar, you can do this with the data down here. We can highlight here. We can hold uh, Alt F1. And as you can see, our GPA, this is a bar chart. Now, it's going to give you a bar chart by default. If you want to change your chart, you can right-click the chart, click Change Chart Type. And here, you can actually select several different charts. We want to have a line graph, for example. Press the line graph, press OK. And as you can see, we have a line graph now showing over the course of time how our GPA has changed. And lots of different charts in here. All you can do is right click, change chart type, and you can pick a chart that you want. Now, if, if for ever some reason you want to change some of these series here, or you want to change anything, anything technical about the chart, all you got to do is right click here. Uh, right click the chart here and you can click select data 
And this is basically the same as just selecting here. Only here you're able to include certain months if you want to include certain months only, or if you want to uh, add or edit certain or remove certain columns or rows, you can add them here. But I always found it much easier just to work with the uh, selection here by highlighting. Obviously, if you want to you know, keep certain columns or remove certain columns and keep other ones in a more, more specific way, then you do want to uh, use the dialog box here by clicking right click, select data, and then you can select the data here. So to play around these charts, lots of options here, and it, it's a very useful way of visualizing certain things in your life or visualizing, visualizing parts of your business. Excel is a great tool and it's very easy to use, and you can get some really cool charts that can really help you out in understanding what's going on with a piece of data. So that's pretty much the video. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to make quick charts. Uh, it's not very difficult, hassle-free. Just highlight everything. Press uh, F11 to on a new sheet or Alt F1 on your current sheet, and it will be embedded into your uh, spreadsheet right here. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, any feedback, any tips or suggestions, leave it in the comments section down below. We're all here to learn, and we'd love to hear from you if you have any questions or any feedback on how to do this more efficiently or any other cool techniques you found. It would be great to see you share. And if you haven't subscribed to your channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Plenty of other Excel tutorials on our channel. Plenty of other video editing tutorials, photo editing tutorials, audio editing tutorials. Lots of software tutorials on our channels. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. You can also check out my gaming channel, advice channel, vlogging channel, music channel. Links are in the description as well as on the end screen. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so as well. Click the card on the top right-hand corner screen. And I'll, bring you to the, and I'll bring you to the page. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GS Smart. I'll be back. Certainly think. Don't go anywhere.